Well, I guess it's time for us to do something. We weren't really planning on doing anything, but we started reading a new book. We were reading Wool. And we're only 20 pages into it, but we thought we'd introduce it for you guys. We've already been having a little bit of a debate on what we think is actually going on. If you don't know who we are, we are Dan and Aaron. We used to have a show on YouTube, which we took off because it got a little bit weird. But we decided to bring it back a little bit. Aaron here has me connected to him. And, you know, the only way that Aaron can talk is through this laptop. But we've been doing pretty well. Other than that, I know when Aaron is very angry by, like, ammonia or something that it attaches. Oh, by the way, this is attached to my belly button. Forgot to, forgot to say that. And, you know, we can talk about that a little bit later of why. Because it's quite horrific. And uh, anyway, that'll be, there's too much to go into. Anyway, let, do you want to say anything? No. Okay. So, we, if you saw Matt's fantasy book review, I did a little, you know, we, I talked about, uh, what did we talk about? The, there's, I can't remember even what book it was that we got all slimed up, but you can go see that there. There's a little video and we, and we both like the will of the many, but one of our favorite types of genres I guess you don't say types of genres, but one of our favorite genres is dystopian. It's our very favorite. And one of the favorite ones that we like is Hugh Howley. Hugh Howey. Sorry, Hugh. There was one called Sand, where basically people lived in this area and just slowly everything just got buried with sand, that which was exciting. But this one is exciting enough that we thought, let's bring it to YouTube and see what people think. Very small summary of what it is. And the, it's also a reason why we like dystopian so much because we don't know what the heck is going on. This is a big silo that they live in. I don't think it says wool, but there is a spiral staircase. And it starts with this guy named... Dang it. What was his name? Holston. And Holston is going up out of the silo. And all the community lives in the silo. And nobody knows what the heck is going on outside on the surface of the world. It seems uninhabitable, I guess. And no one goes out there. So he's decided, hey, I'm going out. And it's basically a death sentence because when people go out there, no one ever comes back. Now, they have contact with the outside world. And this is just the first 20 pages. Just so I can introduce it. And hopefully other people can read it with me. Uh, but they do have a little bit of contact through a little camera that is pointing at some hills. And basically their whole life, they have just seen this one image of these hills. And every three, four, five years, it gets a little bit blurry. And so they send a criminal up or send a volunteer up. And they go out and they wipe the camera and they basically are, are never seen again. So, you know, that's got us both hyped up. And, and you can tell when Aaron is, is hyped. So, Howley. So, Holston lives in this community. Where also there is stuff like population control. And so to have a child, you have to win basically the lottery to get that chance to try for for a whole year. And you get like some you 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 get off your birth control, then you get to try. And so he and his wife were able to, you know, they won the lottery. But his wife, three years older, I think this is just like from pages 15 to 20. Three years earlier, his wife was digging into the databases of things. And she's a little bit of a sleuth, like me. I'm a little bit of a sleuth. My wife would say that I'm very 
observant. So she's finding that every 20 years or so, there's like a rebellion that goes on. And their time is coming up. And so something happens where they understand something or it's just some natural thing. Maybe there's some weird culling. But people go crazy. And then there's this like revolt. And I don't know what's going on. But for the last revolt that happened about 20 years ago, the Great Revolt, everything's deleted on the database. And so she's convinced something and she goes out and is never and never returns. So she might be dead at these hills or maybe she has found something and there's like a reason why people don't come back. They're like, yeah, let's we'll we'll clean the we'll clean the lens. But actually out here is like this awesome utopia and we have to like feed on the silo people. That's what we don't know about. But how what's his name again? Holston is about to go out. And so here's what we think. I think it's some kind of government program where things aren't really contaminated at all. And Aaron thinks it's some kind of alien invasion sort of thing. So what do you think? And does this sound interesting to you, this, uh, this book? And if it does sound interesting, this is what we're going to be reading. You can pick it up. I'm sure you could find it cheap on Kindle. You can get this pretty copy anywhere, which has a cool texture to it. And let us know, let us know what you think. You know, this wasn't a full Dan and Aaron usual episode that we might do, but you know, might as well introduce him to you guys either way. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.